Today the first thing I want to show you is the Indus Alert page and this is the first page you're going to see whenever you open up your web office. And this is going to have very pertinent information for you. It's going to show any updates to our system. It's going to show um, uh, training courses, uh, any relevant information for you to help you out uh, with our database. And you may have uh, some entertaining videos that we may put up there just for fun uh, and a lot of different stuff for you to look at. Please take a look at that each and every time you open the web office uh, and then you can start your workflow. So we're going to show you your uh, hierarchy over on the left hand side. You'll see that several of these are in bold. Now actually I've filtered those. This is probably what you're going to see, a little larger database. Um, and the first thing that I want to show you is that each of these bold groups uh, show you that you have some work that needs to be done. So on my root group, you'll see that I have this little icon right here of a little person. That just means that I have a uh, applicant um, or an application that I need to go in and approve. If I click on that, it'll bring me to actually it'll bring me to this because I let it time out. So we're going to wait for that to load and uh, it shows right here that I have an application ready to review and I can show you um, that on another video. You'll also see that I have form requests that uh, I need to go in and approve as well and you'll see that the new form responses are here. You can review those and uh, approve those as well. Now sometimes you'll see an icon of a speech bubble with a red exclamation point. What that means is uh, somebody has taken a look at our forum and didn't approve of somebody else's response so they will flag it and that allows an administrator to go in and uh, review, edit, or delete a response that somebody else had sent. So that is your uh, your bolding of the names uh, to show you what work that needs to be done. If it's a little easier you can go up to the show options menu and you'll say expand all tasks but show only the tasks that need to be done and that'll make it a little easier to browse through your entire hierarchy especially if you have a very large organization you can also filter by uh, user brochure payment or directory so if you have a payment group that you want to uh, find quickly click on payment and it'll show you just the payment groups that are available you can hide those options and what we'll do, I'll show you also your quick find. And what the quick find does is allows you to search your database quickly on any relevant information that you have um, or that you need to look up quickly. So you can look up a person or an organization by their name. Uh, you can look up the document or group names and find it very, very quickly. And just to collapse that, you just click on the heading and that will collapse. Now, what this structure right here does is uh, it acts as your website's menu structure. So basically um, each one of these groups or uh, manila folders, I'll call them groups, look at it like a, a totally different database. So for each group you're going to have all of these subheadings up here. So if you have various uh, images or videos that you want within a particular group, uh, you just click on the group and then you can add all your content to the media folder and that will keep it separate from all the other folders. Now let's say that uh, you have your youth retreat here and you have an event scheduled. Uh, you can place all your events within that folder and that will keep it away from uh, the rest of the folder. So if you have um, you have a children's event going on and you have all of your children are placed in here as members whenever the the children log into the site they will only see information pertinent to them so if their parents log in they're going to see a totally different uh, bit of information uh, so that they're not getting confused on all the information that they see within a calendar or whatnot so that's just a small excerpt of uh, the workflow within the web office